Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Your Hazen Union varsity boys in action today against the Danville Bears. Uh, Danville comes in with a record of, is it 1-7, and seven, Mike? 1-7. and seven. And Hazen is at 5-0? and 6-0, oh? and oh. yes, yeah, 6-0. and, oh. six and oh. Sponsors today are Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Great day for baseball today. Oh, it's a little beautiful. Bit of a breeze. We're going to be a little warmer than we were uh, here the other night against Lake Region. That's oh, for sure. Oh, that was brutal. Huh? <laughs> and up for Danville is Cooper Culkins, their center fielder. Cooper has some really good speed. I've got a chance to coach him in All-Stars really? when he was younger. Very nice. good baseball player. And Excellent. Andrew Menard on the mound, of course. And Andrew, um, two games ago, had a no-hitter. Right. Struck out 13, did struck, I hear? Struck out 13. Some off-speed stuff from him there. And... How, uh, how close was the game Saturday at Lamoille? Um, Hazen ended up winning that eight to zero. Um, let's see, in on his hands and sending him down to first base. So Hazen won eight to zero. Um, okay. It, again, their pitching was stellar. Um, Tyler Revar, Jaden Baker, and Andrew Menard combined for the shutout. Nice. And again, their base running um, was a big key in that yeah. game. They were all over the place on the bases. So we saw that big time against uh, Lake Region here last week. Yes. Now with Calkins at first base, he has some really good speed there, and we'll see what he tries to do against um, James Montgomery's big arm. So yeah, yeah, it was a solid game um, for Saturday against a, you know, the score was eight to nothing, but Lamoille had a definitely improved team since from last yeah. year. And this is Melos Gouge, the third baseman. Looks like a little bit of a conference going on down there. First base is checking Cockett's hand, maybe. Make sure he's okay. Get, getting hit in the hands isn't a pleasant thing. Not no. much there to protect those, you you know, know, those bones. And, and while it's warm today, it's not exactly hot either. You not know? at all. So. Now, how was the, uh, the umpiring down there at Lamoille? We saw some rather interesting calls here. You know, there was some talk about the home plate umpire at Lemoy, um Peter Wright, who was actually um, a basketball official and a longtime coach at St. Jay Academy for their baseball team before umpiring. But there was a lot of talk about what a great job he did the other day behind the plate at Lemoy. So, Good. yeah, it was a really solid game. Well done by Peter behind the plate. And, and uh, yeah, he did a nice job with it. Wind blowing out right now. If this guy gets a hold of a pitch, he could do a little damage with the way that wind's blowing. I'm sure Menard and the rest of the Wildcats are well aware of Cooper's good speed over there at first base. Yeah. There's a shot to the left. Way back. Oh, that was hit That's well. Score at least one. Gonna go for runners, gonna go for third, gonna go in with a triple. Yeah. So triple and a run to start things off here. Two batters in. That was well hit, Lance. That was cranked. That was well hit. Got up in the wind too. Yeah. And I said, like I said, the way that wind was blowing out, if you got a hold of one, it was gonna it was gonna take it off. So drives in one run, scores the triple. And John Morgan up. John is catcher he's always been a solid catcher for Danville for for years since even since little league he's always played that position and did a good job the pitch a little high by Menard there. 
This wind lance. <laughs> every game. The vortex. Every game, the vortex. We are in the shadow <laughs> of the vortex up here. Boy, it's so, kicking up early, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, I think we go. There we go. That pitch just missing from Menard. And 2-2 two, two count here against Jonathan Morgan. And great job by Montgomery hanging on to it. That was a little tip. bit of a foul tip, yep. Yeah, great job by Montgomery and Thought Morgan. Tip. Yep, Morgan down on strikes and Dusty Laura Bumps is up and he is the DH today for the shortstop, Jackson Giro. I'm glad you know all this terminology, Mike. <laughs> Uh, so get lucky once in a while, Lance. With <laughs> some of Another foul tip. So 0 and 2. With one out, one run scored in the first. Menard delivers high and outside. It's a good 0 2 pitch right there to see if he'd swing at the high stuff. Yep. I was going to say, that one looked pretty good. Yeah, good pitch by Menard there. Like he painted the corner for that strike three call. Yep. And Andy McReynolds, Danville's first baseman. And Hazen really hoping to get out of this inning, only giving up one run. If they do that with a runner at third with nobody yeah. out, that would be They'll very do successful. Well. Montgomery back quick. Another pretty good crowd here gathered. Yeah, got a nice day for baseball. It really is. Big week for the Wildcats. They play at home tomorrow. All right, got North Country, another D2 school coming yes, down. Yes, yep. You know much about their program? You know, I, I don't, but you know, a big school like that, They're they always, usually yeah, tough. usually tough. They usually field a pretty good team. I know we've played them in soccer a few times. They've always been yeah, pretty I, good, pretty good teams. When I looked at the records today. I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't wasn't really impressive. But I've you know I've seen them play before in the past, and they always compete. And they're mm -hmm. sometimes those records on the VPA site get a little bit off from what they are. Yeah, so. I've noticed that too. I there we go, strike three, and at the end of one. Menard kept that uh, triple at third, so Danville gets one run to put themselves up one zip. Yeah, I don't like the way the new whole VPN thing is set up with that score book or whatever with trying to find records oh. and stuff. It's, it used to be really easy, and yeah, now, it's, now it's, it's, you know, like, it's not. It <laughs> isn't. It, it is not new and improved. We'll go with that. Nope. <laughs> So Castle look to see if they can get themselves on the board here in the bottom of the first against the Danville Bears. All right, bottom of the first. Cats up to the plates. Looking to get on the board after Danville jumped up to that 1-0 lead. Mike Baker with the call today. How I'm you just, doing, I'm Lance? Just here talking. Oh, you're Lance all <laughs> talking away. Well, leading off for Hazen, 12, Jaden Baker. Playing center field today, he steps in. Eldred is ready to deal. Good pitch from Eldred. So Jaden hit his first home run of the year the other day at Lamoille. Nice. And I really wish it was a home game so it was on Hardwick Television yeah. that I'd watch it over and over. Quickly behind 0-2 here though. Two good pitches from Eldred. I gotta say, I, I do not know what I'm gonna do next year. 
Collin basketball with no butcher or baker or three point maker, you know? I don't know. It's going to be really it's hard for be me. Tough. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and no Mike Demand Baker yeah. to intro. <laughs> I'm going to be lost. Uh, That's it. I'm done. That was great stuff. <laughs> that was great stuff. Made me laugh this year when that you did that. I was able to look at you this time. The first time I did it, I knew I couldn't look at you because when I looked at you, I was going to start laughing. And I didn't want to do that. This year, I was at least able to look up and and uh, give you a wave. <laughs> well, you know, after getting kicked out of that game a couple years ago, <laughs> that was uh, my proudest moment. But you, you made it funny, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Full count, three and two. Right to the shortstop. Uh -huh. huh. Joe trying to draw the call down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think what Joe was wondering if his first bit, uh, his, uh, foot, foot came was pulled. Off. Yeah. yeah. Really nice play by the shortstop yeah. on a hard hit ball. Great play. Very nice play. There. And a good play by the first baseman to come up with it. T-Rex, Tyler Rebard. That was Jackson Giroux making that nice play. At shortstop Great from play. For, uh, Danville. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jaden had a shot out there. You know. yeah, nice play. Good play by McReynolds at first to come up with it, too. Good eye by Rivard. 3 and 0 your count. My guess is he has a green light on this. And I think he wants to swing. He took a cut. He did. Big swing. The way that pitch was coming in, I think if he'd have connected, that ball would still be going. Yeah. 3-1. Man, good, good eye by Rivard laying off. And up comes James Montgomery. And good base runner at first for Hazen with Rivard over there. You know Tyler's going to steal. Yeah, he'll be looking to go. John Morgan for Danville um, with a good arm back there. I've seen him play a lot over the years, but I'm sure it won't be long till Rivard is off. Yeah, he doesn't stay on first long. We'll have to try and get a stat, see how many stolen base he has. There he goes, Morgan up. Throw down, Rivard in. I don't think as a team that I'm trying to think. I don't know if we've got caught stealing yet this year. A lot of a lot of steals as a team. I we even know. beat out a rundown against the region <laughs> the other day. Yeah. So what are we going to do here? Walk Montgomery? Is that the plan? James just kind of. I thought I saw that pitch just sort of loop in. Oh uh, yeah. Or were they just getting a fresh ball? Maybe. Yep, fresh ball. Okay. 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 I'm going to say, unless he was doing his best Tim Wake Wakefield impression <laughs> out there. There's Revert again. Like a little hit and run there. Yeah. And uh, James, a good one to do it with. He right. usually gets a bat on the ball. Makes so. some solid contact. Uh, just, outside just outside the line yeah. there. That would have traveled up the line. Tyler scores easily. Yeah. So two strikes on James here. Going to have to look a little bit more to protect. Big gap in right center field. And as usual, the Wildcat bench into the game. They early. have the best bench talk I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. They love to chirp over there, and it's awesome. <laughs> Montgomery into left. Tyler's going to score quite easily. And, and James goes into second. 
Danville missing the cutoff there. And James with a heads up getting to second. So Hazen puts themselves on the board. Now it's this thing up one zip. Montgomery's on second. We got just one out here in the first. So. Yeah, good piece of hitting by James with yeah. two strikes. Solid yeah. line drive to left field. And again, heads up base running when mm -hmm. the cutoff was missed. Um, James taking the extra base. Lyle Rooney, who's playing third today. Chopper. Shortstop bobbles. Everybody's going to be safe. We're going to have runners at the corners. That looked like a little bit of a tough hop out there. It did. He made that one. Kept it in front of was, him, you know. Made the one earlier that yeah. was a really hard play. Yeah. So first and third, Rooney will likely be off soon. Andrew Benair looking to help his own cause today. Still just one out here in the bottom of the first. There goes Rooney. They're going to give him the base. Andrew Mintz, he's been swinging the bat really well. He, yeah. He had a big hit here the other night, I remember. He's got two here in scoring position. That one missing inside. Andrew ahead, 2-0. Three and oh. Andrew takes his base, never even took the bat off his shoulder on that one. Four pitch walk here, and Dander Gosley are up, playing in left field. Dan having a solid season. I don't remember Dan playing the other night, did he? He didn't the other night, no. Okay, I don't remember us saying his name. Did he play at Lamoille? He did, yeah, he okay. was at Lamoille. Hey, hey, Stolen home? <laughs> now is that theoretically a stolen base? You know, was he trying to steal home? Or yeah, home? you know, so that was an attempted delay steal of home and heads up play by Danville, cutting him down at the plate. Yeah. And we go from second and third with one out to runner at third with two outs here. Actually, Andrew's still on first. We got oh, runners Andrew's at the corners. First. Yeah, yep. With two outs. Grosley are still up. It's all right, we had the bases loaded there. Big lead from Andrew. And there, there he goes. goes. Let him go in standing up. Well, I've still only seen home plate stolen successfully <laughs> once in my life. That is hard. Yeah. Hard thing to accomplish, that's for sure. Chopper down could in front. Be, uh, could fell. That stage fear, it would have been trouble. Mm. Dan, so. trying, Dan trying to knock these two runs in here. Count goes to one and two, two outs. Two and two. Hit here will likely score two. Struck him out to end the inning. Good pitch from Eldred there. Yeah. Good off speed pitch. So at the end of one inning, it is Danville one, Hazen one. Here at Hudson Fields, Hardwick Vermont, Lance Hall with the uh, call. I will say, <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> Mike Mike Baker with the call. I'm just I'm just hanging on in here. Uh, 
You're watching Hayes and Varsity Baseball on HCTV Channel 1080, uh, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. i got to come up with some kind of line for me. <laughs> All right, we have the pitcher, Sebastian Eldred, up here. And he did a really good job of getting out of that bases loaded he jam. He did. You know, didn't give up any runs. Excellent. When the bases were loaded there. Again, one to one here. One and one, you count, Menard. Make it one and two. Strike three, strike Good him out. Curve ball from Andrew yeah. there. You know what we need up here is one of those big pipe organs like they have in the ballpark. Uh, I think, I think that would be awesome. Background or something. I think that would be awesome. I think when you like win the Mega Bucks or something, it's you know you could donate that. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I told you about that email I got yes. the other day where I won ten mil. Yes. <laughs> I took the lump sum. It was you know put it down to about six. But. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of sit on it you'll, for now. You'll be all right with I'm that. I'm a $6 million man. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Andrew start to deal now, yeah. as usual, Two throwing strikes. strikes. Who do we got up here? Who's this number five? This is Hunter Horn, a second baseman. All right. Yeah, Andrew in the groove. Just missing there. Good O2 spot for that pitch. I cannot wait, Lance, for the day that we sit here and the wind's not blowing. <laughs> Probably be raining when that happens. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it won't be blowing because it'll be raining so hard. Uh, well, like you say, when you're in the shadow of that Hall Mountain vortex, yeah, it's it <laughs> struck him out. Strikeout number five for Andrew. Which uh, and our that, king, Richard Kubeth, is well-versed in. Uh, he knows. King Richard. Knows about that vortex. He lived it for a number of years. <laughs> Denver Lindstrom in the box, playing right field for the Bears today. Looking now, to get a base runner. Now he's living Hurricane BB. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Lindstrom getting a piece on that. Cal goes to one and two. <laughs> I have tears. <laughs> oh well. All right. <laughs> yep. Anyways. Serious so, now here. <laughs> Menard looking for his third strike of the inning. Good piece of Chopper. hitting by Lindstrom. Keeping a lot, staying alive there on the one-two pitch. Another chopper. Stays fair. Tough play, but Menard gets it. One, two, three inning for the Cats. So we'll drop to the bottom of the second. And up for the Wildcats now, Jake Davison. Jake's playing first base, and he's really been hitting the ball well the last few games. Aisha Gould was a tough, you know, tough loss, and Jake yeah. stepped right in and doing a good job at first base. Yeah, Aisha was a fun kid to watch play sports. I, you know, I go back to the uh, Lakeview Laker days with Aisha. Oh, you yeah. Know, he played with yeah. Cody. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. I think he might have been one of the last Lakers from that era that I, you know, really knew well and watched from, oh, yeah. from then, you know? Yeah, very good athlete. Yeah, yeah. Nice and good basketball player and, and an all-around great kid. You know? He was a perfect bench guy in that, you know, first guy, six man, mm -hmm. first guy off the bench, six man on that championship team. He always yep. came in and gave energy.
Davison strikes out. So we got a little bit of a pitching duel going yeah. here right now. Elder throwing strikes. Owen scores stat now up, and Owen was on fire the other day. Yeah, here what did he go, games, four for four, four or for something four. like that? He was, he was on fire, had a great catch in the outfield. Mm -hmm. Owen's playing right field. Another Hazen athlete with good speed. He gets on the bases, he'll look to run. Shortstop getting to work out today. Call safe. Beat it out. A little bit of a hopper there. Pause. So Scorstad gets on. Infield hit for him. Using that speed. Yep. Yes, he was. Brendan Moody. Second baseman, and Brendan's not afraid to bunt. He looks like he's going to swing away now, but he, he's laid down a few nice yep. bunts, at least two this year. So He played well the other day, too. He did. Score stat is going. And a good play by the third baseman over there. Nice grab, throwing across the diamond to get. And that was really, you know, Scorstad running on that. Yeah. Kept him out of the chance of a double play or a force out at second base. So, again, Hazen's aggressive base running paying off. Jaden Baker up, who hit a sharp grounder to the shortstop yep. the last time. Made a who nice play. Made a very nice play. So we're back to the top of the lineup. Two outs, bottom of the second, score tied 1-1. One, one. Runner on second, Baker. Looking to get Scorstad home. One and one. First baseman in on the grass for Danville on the right side. Two and one, your count. Here, Coach Revard talking to Owen Scorstad about trying to get a little bit bigger secondary lead down there. Taken as a strike. Looked, must have been a cut the inside quarter there. Goes the opposite field, drops foul. Looked like it was gonna hold the line there for a second, but then it tailed out. Two, two count still. Straight away, right. Oh, and it got by him. Thought he was going to come up with it. Scorestad's going to score. Yeah. Boy, shortstop wants that one back. Yeah, good attempt over there by yeah. Drew. He wants that one back. It looked like he was looked like he had it, and then it sort of just went on by. So Hazen puts a run on the board. Baker with the RBI. Single, revired up. Still two outs here in the bottom of the second. Cats up two one. There goes Baker. Throw down. Baker goes in standing up. And one in scoring position for Revard here. Really big gap in right center. Lance for Tyler Huge. out there. Yeah. Yeah. They are, they are center fielder shadowing way over and left. Hits to left, and left fielder makes a nice play. Beautiful play to come in and catch that. That ball was hit on a rope. Oh, that was. And uh, he 
came in and made the grab. Nice Boy, play. That, that was a nice play because that was hit hard by Revar. And you're kind of looking into the sun up there too. You know, the way the sun's coming down. So that was a nice play by the left fielder. And that was, he deserves to be mentioned here. Yeah. Cole Gennard that made that play right. out there. That was, that ball was hit hard and kind of knuckling. Mm -hmm. So good job by Gennard staying with that. Cats do put one on the board though, courtesy of Baker's RBI. So they lead 2-1 at the end of the second. You're watching Hazen Varsity Baseball on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.actv.us. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. And speaking of that play in left field. Is that a left the, fielder right here? Left fielder leading it off. Makes a nice play to end the inning and leading off this inning. Cole Gennard. In the dirt. One and one. Took a mighty cut. That was a that big one. cut. <laughs> Menard ahead in the count here. Andrew typically works from ahead and counts. He does a good job throwing strikes. Shot right up through. Coming down with it. A lot of speed. Yep. Oh, they got him? Wow. Good throw by Moody there. He had yeah. a little extra behind that. Yeah, Gennard had fantastic speed going down there at first. I thought he was going to beat it out. I didn't think we had a shot. He did. Took a really nice throw from Brendan. Yep. Rifled. And Cooper Calkins is up there, leadoff hitter who so reached after he was hit by a pitch and scored Danville's run. Right. A little high. Nice play by James to back him up. And you know, I think part of that had to do with Cooper's speed down the line, Rooney knowing he had to Really Field it, it quick, there. make a really perfect throw to get him. Yep. Mellis Gouge, yeah, is up. He absolutely yeah. ripped it early yeah, in the game. He had the triple to, uh, to score Calkins there in the first. They were the you know, first two batters. We had, they were up one zip after that. Yeah, he launched one over towards sort of uh, left center. It looks like James Montgomery out there to talk it over with Andrew Menard about how to approach him after he right. crushed that first, um, crushed that pitch, his first at bat. We'll see if Cooper tries to run here. Good speed. We're fortunate to have a catcher back there with a really good arm. One and one, you count. Keeping Calkins honest over at first. And he's got a nice move over to first. He does. Great move over to first. Yeah, he really does. Good pitch by Menard there. One and two. Wind blowing across. Almost almost sort of in the batter's face the way it's yeah. coming in. It's tough to bat out there. It is. You've got that like dust kicking up a yeah. little bit. It, Never dull in the shadow of the vortex, Never, is it? never. We must always be prepared. Strike him, struck him out on that one, though. 
So makes the two outs in the top of the third. Strike out number six from Menard on the day. John Morgan up. He got John the first time on strikes. Cockin still at first. Let's see if he goes. He looks like he wants to over there, doesn't he? Yep. That one's hit a mile. Menard comes in and makes the grab. Good catch. Yeah. Um, Him and Montgomery almost collide. So that's the third out. So we go to the uh, bottom of the third. Cats up two to one. James Montgomery getting ready to dig in against Sebastian Eldred. Uh, James last time, what, got a hit? Did he have an he RBI? He did, he had a nice no, RBI. Uh, uh, he did, yeah, RBI single to left okay. field, yeah. Yep. There's a hit to left. It's about the same place as he hit it last yeah. time. So just like that, Hazen's got a man on. Well struck there by James. Lyle Rooney up, who reached on an error his Say, last bad time. That boy almost took a bat to the noggin out there. Well, I was kind of looking the other way, but I heard them checking on Henry over there. Yeah. <laughs> a little high. It's nice to see coaches with their kids around. That was one of the most, the best part about, one of the best parts about coaching basketball here was being able to have Isaiah and Jaden around yeah. for all those years at practices and stuff. And it's cool to see that with baseball here too. Throw out and stolen base for James Montgomery. Good speed by Montgomery there. Again, a big gap for Lyle out in right center field. See what he does with it. 3 and 0, no outs. Bottom of the third. Swing See if away. he has I think he'll have the green light here. Swing with any, anything that's near there. Good eye. Ball four. Yeah, laid off the high one. So runners at first and second. Menard up now. Andrew reached on a walk his last time. <laughs> runners go. Runners advance. Again, Hazen speed and aggressive base runner gets running gets two guys in scoring position. And if you're an opposing team, I mean it's not like trying to bust a zone defense or interrupt a man on man. Aggressive base learning is aggressive base running, right? I mean unless you've got there's a shot to right. Good catch by the Good right catch. fielder. But tags up, Montgomery tags up, he's gonna come in. I mean, unless you've got one whale of a catcher back there, how do you how do you combat aggressive base running like this? Yeah, you know, it's it's really tough. Just a lot of attention to be paid to that guy on base. Maybe maybe a lot of throws to first base or whatever. I don't I don't know, but. Yeah, unless your pitcher's got a great pickoff move or your catcher's all world, you know, got an all world arm out there. Good rip by Dan. Another run scores for Hazen. Hazen bats lighting up now. Because we've gotten, uh, no, Andrew got on, on a walk, but everybody else has gotten hits, correct? Well, Andrew hit that nice 
uh, sacrifice fly out to right field. Okay, yes. But Rooney before him had walked. Yes, okay. so you're right. Davison up, who struck out earlier, but has been swinging a good bat. Good play by Morgan behind the plate. Just one out here in the bottom of the third. Cats have extended their lead to four to one. Davison looking looking down for the sign. From Coach Spencer Howard. Oh, got yep. him. Boy. Very nice pickoff mm -hmm. move from the pitcher there, and, Eldred. And that's how you combat aggressive base running, right? Right, right. Well, kind of like what we were, yeah, yeah discussing. Yep. That was a great pickoff yeah. mood and move and got DeGrosley at first. So it gives him two outs. Davison now with uh, bases wide open. Side. Two and oh. Two outs, bottom of the third. Cats up four one. Jake looking to start things off here. Get, get a guy on base. The one score stat coming up. Who has been scorching with his bat. Davidson takes a walk. Good at bat by Jake. It was. And Owen scores that up. Freshman has been, like you said, swinging a hot so, bat. So we're going to call him the scorcher. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great nickname for him. Head in the count here. Can be a little bit more selective and look for something he likes 2-0. Hmm. Like that one. Yeah. Good pitch from Eldred. 2 and 1. I was just, just high. Three and one. Yeah, good eye by Owen. Another walk for, for Hazen here. Brings up Moody, who can be dangerous as well with his bat. Moody with some speed. If he gets it on the ground, he's capable of beating anything out. Good pitch from Eldred. Again, the Hazen coaches are always doing a super job, talking to their guys that are on bases, letting them know. Keeping them aware. Keeping them aware, letting them know how far to get off. Wind switches around, blowing the other way now. Swirling. Swirling wind. It's like we're at old Shea Stadium down there. <laughs> Flushing Bay, New York, you know? <laughs> no, I'm sure the wind was there with something else. Oh, man. Hi. Two and one.
Nice shot. Right into the gap. That gap in right center that you've been talking about. Davidson's going to come in and score. They're going to hold everybody else up. So the Cats are going to go up 5-1. Nice job by Brendan. Staying back on that and driving it to right field. Right into the gap that you had been talking about. You hear the coaches talk about keeping your hands back and driving it, and that's what Brendan did on that. Brings Baker up. He was grounded out to short and then um, singled to center, drove one in. We'll see first and third with no outs or one outs, usually an automatic steal. We'll see what they decide to do with two outs here. There he goes, Woody with good speed. Outside, one and one. So Katza extending this inning pretty good with two outs. They are, they have. Got, up, got one in with two outs here yeah. on the Moody RBI. Runners at second and third. Two and one, you count, two outs. Chopper up third, one foul. In the dirt. Catcher does a nice job of keeping it out in front. Really nice play by by Morgan back there. 3-2 count. Two outs. Here's the pitch. High. Pop up back into the parking lot. So Baker keeping himself alive here. Good battle between Eldred and Baker going on. Rivard waits on the deck. High. Baker gets a walk. Base is loaded for Tyler Rivard. Great opportunity here for Tyler and the yeah, it looks like Wildcats and chat about this one. So two outs here in the bottom of the third. Like we said, the Cats have uh, really extended this inning. I, I don't know how many batters we've had up since we've gotten two outs, but I would say the numbers I think like four, four, yeah, four to five yeah. at least. So. Cats up 5-1. Umpire going out to break things up. T-Rex looking to get a bat onto this ball. Hayes and Bench really coming alive now. <laughs> Sometimes I can't help but just crack up oh, listening to them. <laughs> All I can think of is the seagulls and Finding Nemo. <laughs> and two and zero. Oh. Tyler can be really selective now here. Look for a pitch in a spot he wants to drive it. Oh, 
high. 3-0. and oh. Elder trying to overthrow a little bit here. Yeah. I think he's probably trying not to groove one to Tyler, you yeah. know, down the middle. Yeah. Digs in. Takes it. There's a walk. Four straight pitches. Walks in a run. Scores that comes in. Makes it 6-1. Good discipline from Tyler. Yeah. Not yeah. swinging at that. James Montgomery up. Here's another bat. Murderer's row right now for, you know. <laughs> James had two solid hits to left field. Line drive singles. Hit here can really open things up. <laughs> And good speed on the boot bases with uh, yeah. Brendan Moody at third, Jaden Baker at second, Tyler Rivard on first. Yeah. You got three guys who can fly. You poke anything out in a, in a huge, huge gap. It is. The right it center. is. I mean, there's nobody out there for miles. One and one. Eldred, who's done a great job battling today, yeah. looks like he's getting a little, a little bit fatigued a lot out of there. Yeah. He's throwing a lot of pitches in this inning. Montgomery oh, good pitch there and on yeah. Montgomery's hands. Eldred with a catch. Yeah. So at the end of three, Cats tack on some runs. They lead 6-1 now. You're watching Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HGTV, Channel 1080 www.hctv.us sponsors are today Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522 We Sport Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center gmtcc.lnsd.org Jumpstart your future <laughs> We have uh, have looks like uh, Dusty Laura Bumps up who struck out his first time How many strikeouts for Menard so far today, Mike? Uh, one, two, three. Looks Probably like six. Six. But that could be off by one or two. As I always say, <laughs> as unofficial as it gets, unofficial scoring right here. Menard with the walk here. Lead off base runner for Danville. And so. up is Andy McReynolds, the first baseman who struck out his first time. Here in the top of the fourth, from beautiful Hudson Fields, Asian Union High School. There's, that one's foul. Where did it land? Oh, way up there on the top of the bank. Yeah. Turned on, it's safe to say he turned on he that one. He did turn on that one. <laughs> Ren Reynolds here. Oh, and two. Leonard gets ahead of him real quickly. No, one and one, excuse me. I saw two, two over there. <laughs> two and one now. McReynolds out ahead of Menard. Again, a leadoff base runner here for Danville. See if they can answer back the Hazen scoring that started there. Oh. Man. Take his base. Drew got a little bit inside on that one. So two on for Danville with nobody out. And Sebastian Eldred, the pitcher, up for Danville. Coach Spencer Howard out to the mound, infield in. Talking things over.
Menard gets ready. Eldred back in the box. And Menard immediately with a strike after that visit to the mound. Gave him the encouragement and cheering up that he needed. Inside. Swing, a big swing. Count stands at one and two now. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Oh, nice pitch by yeah. Menard. Change speeds. Strikeout number seven for Andrew. And Hunter Horn comes up to the plate. Hunter is playing second base today for the Bears, who have two men on with one out. Looking to cut into that Hazen lead, which they extended nicely there yeah. in the third. Yeah, they did. Some of the damage of two outs there, too. Mm -hmm. That was high. You know, Lance, today, this morning, I debated whether it was a pants day or a short stay. <laughs> yeah. Glad I went with the pants right yeah. out now. Yeah, and as I left the house, I'm like, well, I got my sweatshirt. I'll be okay. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't have brought my coat. <laughs> I got a blanket in the car. If it goes too late, too long, and uh, I got a blanket in the trunk of my car, I'm going <laughs> to. Two, two count here. Bernard set, he throws. Missing a little up and in. Big pitch here, Lance. Mm -hmm. Three, two. Full count, one out. Top of the fourth. Menard ready, pitch to Horn. Missing just yeah, up. Just high. So that loads the bases for the Bears. Denver Lindstrom up, who grounded to the pitcher his last time. Hit for Danville here would be huge. Just one out. Let's start for Andrew. It's always so big to get that first strike. Yeah. Jaden in kind of shallow in center. Right and left about where they are. Infield all comes in. And a bunt attempt there by Lindstrom. Strike from Menard, 0-2. Chopper. Oh, that could be trouble. And that rolling foul, of Menard touching it in foul territory, making sure it would stay there. Yeah. That was trouble. <laughs> From the start. From the start. Like you say, those, those, you know, you see him make the big hits to the outfield right to the outfield, and he catches it, and he get a little chopper like that, and all of a sudden, everything happens. Oh, yeah. Still an 0-2 count here. Menard ready. Fires. Good pitch. Montgomery throws down. Oh. Wow. You're going to have to explain everything that's going on to me here. So we had a drop third strike. Runner took off for first, and we kind of threw it down the right field line, and looks like three runs scored on that. Yeah, they basically cleaned the bases. Everybody that was on base came in. That was really unfortunate, because it, it went from strike three yeah. to, uh, yeah, that. So 6-4, that's unfortunate for Hazen. Good base running for Danville. Good heads up running. I mean, he, in a sense, hit a home run. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, you know? Yes. With the drop third strike.
Big swing there by Gennard. I think there was some confusion when the batter took off for first. Yeah. I know I was, but now that you say drop third strike, I understand but I, why. I might be correct. Was it, were the bases loaded there? Bases were loaded. Okay, so he can run on that. So yeah. pretty yeah. sure he can. Yeah, because by the time he turned around, the guy that was on third was at home plate, you know, ready to score. And then the batter there was at Lindstrom took off for first. Yeah. And that's when Ra uh, James made the throw down. Good pitch from Menard. Three and two, two outs. Top of the fourth. Boy. Now Danville making stuff happen with two outs. It's a pretty good pitch there by Menard, just missing. Cooper Calkins up. Cooper's been on base twice, um, hit by a pitch and reached on an error. And Coach Spencer Howard calling time. And he's going to switch pitches. Brendan Moody's going to come on. So Brendan will warm up. A good outing for Andrew. Yeah. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, actually, eight strikeouts, right. counting the one that right got, that got thrown away. Yeah. So, kind of unfortunate for him there, but solid outing for Andrew. And yeah, like you say, it went from a, a third strike, which would have, would have been for the second outs. I mean, we still got the two outs, but they scored three runs. Strange sequence of events right there. I think you're definitely going to want to go pants and jacket tomorrow because I hear I heard tomorrow while it's supposed to be sunny, it's supposed to be the coldest day of the week. Really, even then, colder than today. Even colder than today, and then temperatures rebound after that. Yeah. Might have to get the line pants out for that game yeah. tomorrow then. You know what? The, you know what we've got to construct up here for us? A bunker. <laughs> <laughs> we need a bunker. We do need a bunker. <laughs> a well-stocked bunker. A well-stocked bunker at that, yes, indeed. Okay. And Calkins. Calkins looking down for signs. Steps into the box. Menard gives way to Moody on the mound. Moody ready. Good pitch from Moody. So before the game, talking with Joe Rivard, he talked to the guys, cautioned them to not overlook Danville today because no. uh, sometimes teams, you know, have records that don't look so good, but they're better than their record. Exactly. That's for sure. Exactly. How good the team is isn't, you know, the record isn't indicative of it. Yeah, Danville definitely putting up a good fight today. Definitely. Low and inside. Two and two, two outs. Middle of the fourth, or fourth, top of the fourth, I should say. Cats up 6 4.
Runner on first for Danville. Pitch runner goes. I'm strike three. Job by Moody three. coming in, getting the strikeout. So Danville manages to put three runs on the board, though, to make the score 6 4. So uh, we'll see what happens here in the bottom of the fourth. Mike Baker with the call today. Lance Hall, tag along. <laughs> Rooney steps in. Lyles reached base his first two times. That went high. Lyle, just a hard-nosed, gritty baseball player. Yes, sir. Playing third base today. There's a hit to center. Is that going to drop in? He's going to drop in. He's going to have one. Not about two. So Rooney starts things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Nice to have some speed on to start the inning. Hazen looking to try to extend this lead a little bit after yeah, they, Danville coming back with three runs. Yeah, they had a nice one going there at 6-1, six, six but that was 6-4. Andrew Bernard up, who's walked, and then he ripped a sacrifice fly to right field. It was hit really, really well. There goes Rooney. It's a throw down. Rooney in. And one in scoring position here for Menard. Eldred looking at second, Rooney at second base. Eldred, of course, has already picked one person off yes, today. Yes, yeah. Nice, nice play over to first. In for a strike. 0 and 2. Ooh. Menard no. kind of pulled back like it was inside, but. Yeah, rung up yeah. there, but. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Well, the umpire was standing right there. <laughs> yeah. Dan DeGrosier steps in. Dan had a solid RBI single his last time up. I think that's going to be my standard line. The umpire was standing right there. <laughs> he obviously saw something that we didn't. Yeah. You know, I've had that happen before with umpires and basketball refs. Mm-hmm. Ball goes through. Rooney scores easy. Menard at first. And so. the second single of the day for the Grosier and second RBI of the day. I was going to say, Dan swinging a good bat today. He is. Here's Jake Davison. He went, uh, I believe if I remember right, he walked last time he was up. Am I correct? He that did. Way? And I know that's coming from your, your brain there in, in the bank because... <laughs> No way you can read my writing on this paper. <laughs> the analytics working, at least momentarily. Yeah, that's amazing stuff. <laughs> Good block by Morgan there on the pitch in the dirt. Two and zero, the count. One out. Menard at first. Kurt's got a good looking snack going over there next to us. Yeah, Make, he does. Yeah, able to run the camera and eat Andy, some good food at the good. same time. That's pretty amazing what you got there, stuff. Kurt? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, some good looking salad yeah. there. So what we got to do next game, we'll have DoorDash deliver up here. 
Here's some DoorDash. Here we go. Eldred ready. 3 0 the count. Hi, Davison reaches on another walk. Brings up the scorcher. The Wildcats have showed some good patience at bat today. Danville coach going to go out and chat a little bit. Yeah, I have not mentioned him much today. Kurt on camera today. <laughs> Do we have a pitching change here? I'm still conferencing out there. So they're gonna leave them in. This looks like is that twelve. Yeah, Denver Lindstrom, who was playing right field. So, cats up 7-4 here in the bottom of the fourth. The Scorcher, or Owen Scorstead, <coughs> awaiting his turn at the plates. His pitcher warming up. So Lance, it's almost six o'clock. Almost pretty close to you missing your news. Yeah, it's, uh, she'll be gone at six thirty. So, yep. Oh well. <laughs> you remember to set the DVR. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was up early this morning, so I did I did get my uh, morning dose of Lauren Granada. So I'm okay. She's an excellent newscaster. <laughs> I bet she had a really good forecast for this week. Uh, that was Ben Frechette with the forecast. And, yeah, he was basically, that <laughs> kid is so funny. You know, they, to go to the first, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> they go to the first forecast, you know, block. And, of course, he stands up and basically takes a bow because they're talking about how good the weekend was. And yeah, and more of that. You know, we had that and more of it coming, you know. So he was he was pretty pleased to give that forecast. <laughs> and what, we got the Vermont City Marathon coming up this Saturday, right? Over in Burlington, is it? Oh, nice. I think that's what they were talking about. I passed on my invitation for that this year. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Another two. Ah, nice oh, bunt. Good bunt by Scorstad. Puts it down. Excellent. Moving runners to second and yep. third, doing his job. Yeah, we can't all be runners. Some of us have to sit on the curb and clap as they go by. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan That's Moody cool. steps in. Brendan with an RBI single, his last time at bat out to right field. Two outs. Cats did some damage with two outs last time. See what they do this time. Moody takes a big cut. I don't know if that breeze is coming up from just the breeze or Brendan's bat. <laughs> you did take a big cut at that one. did. Good eye there. So Brendan would love to put one in the same mm -hmm. spot he did last time, driving a couple runs here. They've sort of closed that gap a little bit. There's one, there's a sh right over to left. That's gonna score one, and they're gonna hold Davison up at three. Well hit by Moody, yeah. well hit. Big run there to extend the lead. Back up 8-4 now, doubling them up here in the bottom of the fourth with two outs. Jaden Baker coming up. Runners at the corners. Looking down Spencer for the signs. Jaden's grounded to short, single to center, and reached on a walk his last time. Moody goes into second. I'm hearing some... Turkey calls down yeah. from our You're turkey ready for spring, season. Spring turkey season down there. I know. Jaden got a nice turkey the other he day. He did. He did. He got a 
got a call really early Saturday morning to come and look at that. He was pretty excited. Yeah, nice bird. Pretty neat. I've had wild turkey that didn't come in a bottle only once. It wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> no, it had I, a very rich, if I remember right, it had sort of a rich taste to it, you no. know. I, I've liked the turkey that Jaden has shot in the past. It's yeah. a different taste, that, right. but it's good. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. Two and two. Two outs. Runner still at second, third. Baker looking to connect. Extend this lead a little bit. Low. Dropped. And empty. <laughs> Swung at one in the dirt there. Yep. And at the end of four, it's catch back up though, eight to four. You're watching uh, Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HGTV Channel 1080, Worldwide and Archived at www.hgtv.us. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTC. C dot. Let me start this over again. GMTCC dot LNSD.org. And Mila Scouch steps in, third baseman. And he's probably had the hardest hit ball of the day, that triple out to deep left yeah. field. Right back in the uh, first inning. High towering shot. Chopper foul. One and two the count. Top of the fifth leadoff hitter for the Bears. Two, two count to Milas. Milas gouge. And again, he really ripped that shot earlier. Pitch by Moody, good curve ball there. Strike three. John Morgan steps in. John, the Danville Bears catcher. Again, what a good game behind the plate today. He has another one of those kids I remember from All Stars when he was younger on the Cal West teams. Okay. Now, were you ever involved in uh, Legion baseball at all? I was not involved with that, no. Nope. That's like above Babe, Babe Ruth, right? I just lost my headphone, yeah. Check that down there. So we got some, I got nothing there. Wonder how the battery is. I think we got it. I think it's more in a connection. But uh, check a connection again. I got something now. There we go. You, you got, got something? Me? I got you. That's better. Yeah, that's, that's better. better. Uh, Legion baseball is like above Babe Ruth, isn't it? Or it am it I is. Thinking sort of. It is. I think it is. All right. What do we got here? Two, we got a two and two, two count. Two. Uh, Big swing from Morgan. Yeah. Strike three. So that's the first out of the uh, second out. Second out here in the top of the fifth. And Dusty Laura bumps up, who walked his last time. 
Hayes and hoping for a quick inning here. One, two, three inning would be good. I didn't hear any metal. So. Nope. We had one shattered over at Lamoille the other really? day. It looked like a windshield. Ooh. Got it. And Moody looking for the strikeout. And he's got, got it. it. Three outs. Three strikeouts that inning for Moody. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Cats will get their ups. Leading by a score of eight to four. Once again, Mike Baker with the call today for HCTV. Kurt on camera. Lance Hall playing tag along today for baseball. Tyler Rivard ready to dig in here against Denver Lindstrom. Tyler reached on a walk, if I remember right, on four straight pitches, I believe. Yes, he's, he's walked twice today. Hit a shot out to left field, but was caught on a nice catch by the yep. left fielder for Danville out there. Hi again. Hayes and Bench trying to get Tyler going here. 2-0 count. Revard with a big bat here. Ooh, big swing. Count. Yeah. Here are the coaches down there telling him to keep his head in there. Another big swing by Revard. Two and two, Revard looking to get on base to start the inning here for the Wildcats. Oh, Good low. eye there. Nice, uh, nice move by Morgan to keep it from going away. He is solid back there for mm. Danville, that's for sure. And Rivera right. takes his third walk of the day. James Montgomery up. James is two for three today. A couple of nice hits. Very nice. Some RBIs, I believe. A couple RBIs. And Tyler, I assume, will look to be aggressive on the bases here. He usually does. There he goes. He's not waiting around. No, I don't think he was really looked at at first base there. Yeah. Got a good jump. I think James would like that pitch back to try and hit again. He knew he had a good one. Revard again. Ball goes through. Revard's going to go to third. May come all the way home. He's going to come all the way home. Yep. All the way from first. Really no backup on the throw there. Went through to center and then a hard time picking it up. Makes it 9 4. Wow. High fly Left ball. Back. Nice, nice catch. No, James hit that one really well. Mm. Good play again in left field out there. Who's the left fielder? Let's give him a little a little uh, little credit. Looks like Cole Gennard out That's there. That's right, Cole Gennard. A couple of excellent catches out yeah, there. For he made him. a nice one earlier. Lyle Rooney. Hey. 
There's one out to center. And that goes over. Rooney, will he score? I guess that is the question. Will he score? I'd say he's going to send, send him, him the whole way. Here's a throw. Oh, uh, get away. And home run. Good job. By home Rooney. run for Lyle Rooney as he was chugging around the bases the entire way. Nine, uh, ten, four. That was hit right on the screws by Lyle. Yeah. Next up, the Mauler. Andrew, the Mauler, Menard. A nice rip by Lyle there. Andrew <laughs> swinging for the fences on that <laughs> one. He says, you guys hit one, I'll hit one. One out. Bottom of the fifth, cats up 10-4. Oh and two, as Andrew is taking two mighty cuts at these pitches. Plays off the 0-2 pitch. Pitch. Pokes that one foul. Uh, good battle by Menard. <laughs> Boy, after being down uh, 0 and 2, now working the count to 3 and 2. Good at bad for Andrew. Struck him out. Big swing there by Andrew. Dan DeGrosier up. Dan's had a couple singles and a couple RBIs today. He's got a good day going. Yeah. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. Cats up 10-4. Dan wants to take a cut. Big swing there. Down low. Another big swing from Dan. Two and two. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. Lindstrom delivers Dan. Struck him out to end the inning. So at the end of five, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the Danville Bears by a score of 10 to four. You're watching Hazen Varsity Baseball on HCTV channel 1080. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazel Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. I believe we've got a battery change coming. And Andy McReynolds steps in against Brendan Moody. Moody's come in and had four strikeouts to strike out the side last inning. Pitching well in relief. He is. Inside. Oh, hit him. Have him take his base. Actually, that's the second time McReynolds has been hit today. Taking him for the team, getting <laughs> on base. 
And Eldred is up. Who did a pretty good job today pitching for Danville, their starting early, pitcher. Early he pitched well. On the side. Montgomery losing track of where it is. Hard to find though sometimes for yeah. catchers when they get by him. You're taking the mask off, you're spinning around, you know. Yep. So runner in scoring position for Danville. Top of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Poked out to first base, yep. Job by Davison over there. And Hunter Horn steps in. So Hunter's, two outs. Hunter struck in and reached on a walk today. Danville trying to get this run in. It's on second base, this runner in that's on second base. Oh, one out. I thought I saw two flash up there briefly. Yeah, it may out. have. Wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're right. I think it's only one. There's a strike for Moody. Two and one the count, one out, top of the sixth. Cats lead 10-4. Big swing by Horn. Seen some big swings from both sides mm -hmm. here. Have. This last little bit, everybody going for the fences. In the dirt, Montgomery keeps it in front of him. Nice play. Yeah, good play by Montgomery. <coughs> kind of used to James making plays like that. Yeah. He does that pretty consistently, keeping it in front of him. That went foul. Hit Boy. a ton, but fell over into the drainage ditch. Yeah, Horn ripped that one just a little ahead of it. On on a walk. Runners at first and second. Let's see if Danville is aggressive base running out here. Denver Lindstrom up. Pitcher up. Looking to help his cause. I believe it was Lindstrom up that was last time. Struck out, throw went to right field. Danville scored like three runs. Yes, yes, on the... Uh, Drop third strike. Big big swing by Lindstrom. Yep. And of course, he's in now pitching for Danville Bears. But James might have a chance here. Oh. Good try by Menard trying yep. to get that tag down. Runners advance, second and third now for Lindstrom with one out here in the top of the sixth. Counted 0 and 2. Struck him out. Two down for Moody. And this is, uh, I'm trying to remember, Lindgren? Cole Gennard. Gennard, uh, Gennard. Okay, yes, Gennard. He walked his last time. 
Playing some solid left field out there yeah, today, he's Lance. Made he's made some great catches over there. We says, he said some balls hit to him. Another good play by Montgomery to block that. I never liked being out there having the ball hit to me that hard. You had too much time to think about it. It's on your way too. Yeah. Here. Yep. Another stay. Two outs. Count it two and zero. Oh. Three and zero. Oh. Canard can take his shot if he wants to, right? Two out, or would no? Sit on it and wait. With two out. Yeah, looking. Wanted that one inside for. Yeah, a you know that was yeah. a good take by Gennard. Even yeah. if he swung at it, not much he was gonna no. do if he made contact. Yeah, had with to it. fight it off. Strike. A pitch by Moody battling back. Three and two. Two outs. Runners on second and third. Moody, the pitch struck him out to end the inning. Here for your Hazen Union Wildcats. I think that's six strikeouts for Moody already. Bears so. two on the bases there. So. so we go to the bottom of the six. The Cats up 10-4. Hazen Varsity Baseball here today. Kurt on camera. Mike Baker on play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall tag along for today. <laughs> and here's Jake Davison up. Jake's walked his last two times at bat. But irregardless, I will eat some, and it will be delicious and warm, and I will enjoy it. Wow, that sounds good. And Lynch, that, that is if all the kids haven't scarfed yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> if they have, then it'll be yeah. probably chicken noodle soup. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Jake, right back to the pitcher. Lindstrom comes down with it, makes the throw over to first. Nice throw. Nice nice play there to knock that down and come up, make the throw over to first. Very good play. Did a good job sticking with it, making a good throw. The scorcher. He had a really nice sacrifice, but his first time up, or his last time up, I should say. Yeah, that was an awesome buck. Running, getting guys over to second, third, big play. Bases wide open. Of course, they'll be swinging away here. Kind of stepped out on that one. So say. One and two. Swung uh, away on that one, too. He's just, Scorsa just wants to get a hit. He did a good job <laughs> staying alive on that. He was off balance and managed to poke it foul. Back again, he's gonna go up the shortstop comes down, throw over, rung him up. Good play by the nice shortstop over yeah. there. We've seen him make some great plays, we've seen him struggle. That was a great play. That was. The two outs. And that's Jackson Giroux that's over there. Two outs, Brendan Moody up. Brendan hit a nice, nice hit out to left. He did. Uh, last up. He's got a couple. Couple good RBIs. And there's Giroux. Has to get under his glove. Gerard comes up with it. Or Gennard, sorry, Gennard. That was a tough one. Brendan hit that hard. Didn't quite get his glove down. Baker up with two outs here at the bottom of the six. Runner on. Got some good speed at first base. Pitch 
there by Lindstrom. Rivard waits on deck. There goes Moody. He'll go back. Now I gotta ask Mike. Like Spencer's down here at third. He makes all those hand motions, all those signals. Are those actual signals, or is it like Nikolai Volkov singing the, the Russian national anthem? So back some, in the some, WWE? sometimes they mean nothing, but yeah. sometimes if there's an indicator in the signs where a coach will do a certain thing, and that means the play is on. Okay. So as a batter, you look for the indicator. Okay. In the sequence of signs, and then. Then something's happening, like okay. a bunt or a steal, but sometimes it's nothing. Just a bunch of mumbo too. jumbo. Yeah. There goes Moody again. Jaden oh, called out strike. on strikes. Called out on strikes, okay. <clears throat> so, nice pitch. <laughs> All right, top of the seventh here from Hudson Fields. Your Hayes Union Wildcats leading the Danville Bears by a score of 10 to 4. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Cats looking to close this one out, push their record to what, 7-0, Mike? 7-0. Here's Cooper Calkins. Oh. That one had to hurt a little bit. Yeah. Right in the middle of his back. And Mila Scouge steps up. Man on for the Bears. Trailing by a score of 10 to 4 here. Top of the seventh. It's another shot. Wow. We're going to have runs scoring on this one. We'll see if. Uh, ball in. Another triple. Two triples today. He crushed that. That was good hustle in the outfield. It could have easily. Yeah, that easily could have been another home run. Easily. But he That's crushed it. that. Jaden with a nice throw in to uh, Tyler. And then Tyler. Tyler turned it really well to, to third to base. Andrew, they, yeah. it, was, it was close at third. But, uh, well, he's by far hit the two, two, yeah, that two one, shots today. Yeah, that one today. Was, was hit further than the, it than was. the first one. I kind of got caught up in the wind again. And it was, uh, so 10-5, your score. No outs. In comes Jonathan Morgan. <laughs> Turned on that one. Uh, good swing by Jonathan on that. Another one over into the drainage. <laughs> that up as a ball. That would have been a strike, correct? I think it was. Run uh, third base. Runner third scores. 10-6. Wild pitch and yeah, cut the lead to four. Still no outs. And I'm looking over the count. Morgan hit one over there. That would have been a strike, right? That right, foul. right. That was it. Yeah, the count's wrong up on the board. Just making sure I know what's happening. So we got technically one and two, or two yeah. and two. I think one and two. You know we got two strikes. There it now goes. it's all right. One and two. Two, two and two. two. <laughs> We knew there was two strikes. We yeah. had that much down. That went low, three and two. Danville, Danville bench. Yeah, Danville alive now. bench is. Struck him out. Big swing by Morgan. 
Big outs. Jackson Giroux up. Jackson's played shortstop today, but had a DH hitting for him, so this is his first at bat. Takes the ball. Two and oh. Strike one, two and one. High and outside, three and one. Moody doesn't want to lose him here. No. Give Danville a base runner. Well, low. Giroux on. And McReynolds up. He's been hit by a pitch his last two times. Just say, yeah. Coach Howard out to the mound. Infield comes in. Talking strategy. Umpire headed out to break things up. And Moody's ready, McReynolds digs in. One out, top of the seventh. Good eye by McReynolds laying off the high stuff. Yeah. Two and oh. Good hustle by Davison on the pickoff throw that kind of went awry there. Right now, you really want to worry about the the hitter up. I was thinking, yeah. Up four runs, sets the focus, get the batter out. Two and one. See if Brendan can battle back here. Hi. Three and one. Ball four to McReynolds. Okay. Runners at first and second. Sebastian Eldridge steps up. Almost becoming a bit of a cheek clincher. It here. is, it is. Strike one. Who we got up at bat, Mike? It is Sebastian Eldred. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Eldred would like that pitch back. I wasn't happy with himself. Not missing by much there. No. It's a little low, but. Strike two. Big swing again by Eldred. One and two, one out. Eat it. 
Strike three. Strike three. I thought I almost heard it tick. Yeah, I did too. Unless it might have hit the plate. I don't yeah, know. I wonder if that was his bat hitting the plate after. Might have been, yeah. I thought I heard something tick yeah. out there. He did, All right, so two outs. He didn't act like it did, though. Yeah. It to, we have... Yeah, uh, he didn't really argue a whole lot, so... Hunter Horn up here. He's in hoping to get out of this without more damage. And... That gets out of play, so the runner's automatically advancing. A base hit here, Lance. Uh, Probably plates too, so. Yeah. Big swing by Horn. Two and one. Yeah, any type of contact, you know, anywhere to any type of gap or anything. Yeah, two guys are going to score. Danville Ben. There we ripped. go. Here comes one. Here comes two. Makes it 10-8, two outs. We're at the top of the seventh. Danville battling back. Looks like Coach Howard out. Brendan flips the ball. We're gonna have come in to finish things. Looks like Lyle Rooney Lyle. coming in. This happened last year over at Danville. Lance Hazen had a pretty sizable lead, Danville came back to actually take the lead and Hazen ended up having to come back. So kind of similar yeah. to last year. Two outs top the seventh count is. Uh, there shouldn't be, shouldn't be, shouldn't a, be count. a count on shouldn't the scoreboard. Okay. No, shouldn't be a count. A... That's right. That's a hit. See, I can remember what somebody did on their bat before, but I can't remember that the guy had a hit, you know, 30 oh. seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Get caught up in the excitement of it all. I think I'm gonna stand here for a little bit. Hopefully this will be the last batter here. <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> Get home in time to watch Final Jeopardy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for Hazen, we now have Lyle Rooney in the game trying to finish this out, get the last out. And into the box is Denver Lindstrom. Potential tying run at the plate, right? And is that the it is potential tying. Mark? You see, you've got this baseball <laughs> thing down. You've got it down. One and one. Oh, just missing. Oh, yeah. Did look a little low, I'll, I'll admit. From where I, I was looking right down on the plate, it looked a little low. Two and two. One strike away. The Cats are for picking up their seventh win of the season, keeping this undefeated streak going. Strike three called. And the Cats win by a final score of 10 to eight here over the Danville Bears who made a pretty good game out of this. They did, they it. did, they didn't give up. No. Uh, sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Kurt on camera, Mike Baker on play-by-play, -play, Lance Hall tag along for today. We'll be back tomorrow when they will be hosting the North Country Falcons right here at Hudson Fields. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a great night.